Hi, welcome back. What we're looking at today is the Full Tone GT500. This is a cool pedal. It's handmade in California, as it says all over it. it you know, it's pretty special as a little thing in your hands. Really nicely made, really nicely put together. I'm a big fan of dual overdrive pedals. So I've got the King of Tone and I've also got the uh, dual list. Um, you know, and I've, put, I've got them on my board at the moment. The King of Tone, everyone knows what King of Tone kind of does, and you've got options with it. The Dual List has a lot of options kind of on the side. I've got the one with the with the little switches, and that's, you know, I've got like a tube screen thing out of that, but with all the headroom and glassiness that you kind of want. Um, this is more of a, it's, it's, an, it's a FET kind of distortion. It reminds me of the BB um, overdrive, um, and my f one of my favourite budget overdrives, which is the the Crayon, the Electro Harmonix Crayon. It's got that kind of fatness to it, that kind of um, squashiness to it. Um, I really, I really dig it. This has um, a distortion on one side and a booster or an overdrive on the other side, um, as it says here, but you can actually toggle between these things. So you, if you toggle it um, upwards, you just, you've got an overdrive on this side and a boost on that side. boost on this side and a distortion on that side so it's pretty versatile you could do some really cool stuff with that so this size takes care of your volume and your distortion for this channel here um, and you've got you know a little bit of a free band EQ which is cool please like and subscribe to the channel it will really help us out thank you you know a little bit of a free band EQ which is cool and then we've also got um, a two band EQ on your boost, which is actually quite generous. One of the cool things on, on the feel of this is your drive on this channel is notched. So you can kind of feel where that's going. It kind of centers into notches, which is quite important because this one does have kind of a different feel as it changes when you use the overdrive. So I'm gonna demo that. <laughs>
So for what you're getting for your money is a handmade pedal. It can be stepped up to 18 volts. Pedals that can do that, it's always worth stepping it up to 18 volts in my opinion. I can feel that you get a little bit more headroom and power out of it. When I was demoing it today, it was on nine volts. And that's because most people tend to run them on nine volts. Um, but the, in, in my experience, but you know, if, you, if you'd if you rather I'd done it in 18 volts, I'll do one in 18 volts for you, I don't mind. I'm quite happy to get this pedal and uh, play with it because it's, uh, it's quite cool. And it's got, it, the, the overdrive and the distortion just reminds me of that crayon pedal. All right, the crayon pedal's a lot cheaper. Um, but the boost in this is pretty cool and it's cheaper than buying a crayon and a decent boost um, My favorite boost is like a, an EP booster or there's um the one that I use is the um, MXR mini boost Let me um, let me know what you think in the comments